Governor Ducey said he believes what we saw at Old Town Scottsdale and at Lake Havasu was not the norm. That's why instead of addressing those partying like it was 2019, he instead praised Arizonans for what he said was a great job, social distancing and following CDC guidelines. He said we in the media pick a few scenes like this that appear to be doing the opposite of what he's praising and that it's not the full story of Arizona. I asked him what happens when these people leave the clubs or the lakes or the pools and go back to their respective cities, potentially spreading the virus if infected. Here's what he had to say to that. The objective here is that we slow the spread of a virus. We have public health numbers that I show to you every week and post every day at 9 a.m. at azhealth.gov. Arizona's headed in the right direction. Thank you to the citizens. Speaking of huge crowds, President Trump has tweeted threats about moving the Republican National Convention away from Charlotte, North Carolina, if the state of North Carolina does not open itself up and allow large gatherings. I asked Governor Ducey today if he would like to see the RNC move here to Phoenix, and here was his response to that. The, the president is, is welcome in Arizona anytime he would like to come. This is the, the president's uh, sole decision, and uh, I expect him to make the decision that's in the best interest of the uh, election cycle and the electoral map. The governor also today announced the creation of the AZ CARES Fund, which he will use to hand out almost $600 million in federal CARES Act money allotted to the state of Arizona by the federal government. All local counties and municipalities have to do is apply, and then it is up to them as to how they would like to spend that money. In downtown Phoenix, Mitch Carr, 12 News.